Did you make changes to your inventory pricing on your Clover device or on your Clover dashboard by going to the inventory app? And somehow when you get an online order, the price is not exactly the same as the pricing on your Clover inventory. So the reason this happens is you may have forgot to sync it because keep in mind that your in-store inventory and your online inventory must be kept in sync. Sometimes it may not sync because you may have a bad internet connection on your Clover device, or sometimes you are changing your inventory by uploading a new Excel spreadsheet, or sometimes it may not sync because you are changing the tax rates and the tax rates do not auto sync. And sometimes the sync may not occur uh, because you may not have valid or active internet connection at the time of syncing. So there are various reasons why that can happen. And I'm gonna show you how to sync it. It's very simple. The first thing you need is your laptop. So walk over to your laptop and then I'll show you how to sync it. I'll see you there. Thank you. Once you are at your computer or laptop, you want to go to login right here on clover.com website. So again, you wanna to go to clover.com website and then you'll find a button called login. Maybe when you watch this video in the future, this login may be somewhere else, but right now it's right here. Press login. Once you log in, you'll go to the Clover dashboard. The Clover dashboard shows your reporting, your transactions, so your inventory. Remember, you can change your inventory both on Clover dashboard and also on your Clover device. So as you can see, I have the prices here for the different items. If you notice that your ham and cheese is $3.75 on the Clover inventory, but $3.95 on the website, then you want to sync it, okay? Let me show you how to do that. The fastest way is to go straight to your backend um, your order online page. If you do not know how to get here, uh, what you can do is go back to the, your dashboard, find the app called Smart Online Order. It will be on the left hand side here. If you can't find it here, go to More Tools and search for it. So once you click on here, once you click on here, it will take you to this page here. And then you click on this button here to log in. If you forgot your password, uh, just press forgot email or forgot password. Um, and then it'll email you, email you a link to reset your password. Um, if you forgot your email or you don't have an account, uh, reach out to us and we can help you log in. Okay, so here's an example of what your order online page will look like if you had us, if you did not have your web developer do it for you. Typically it will look just like this, some link like that. And then once you click on it, you go back here and then you sync it. So the way to sync it is you press import sync inventory right here. And then you'll see your uh, categories, items, modifier groups, tax rates. So remember, when you do the steps, uh, just do it like I am, like how I am doing it now. So first, you want to start with the. Um, uh, you want to. You can start with the uh, all items, and then wait till it finishes. Once you press this, wait till it finishes, and then go to categories. The reason why you want to do categories as well because items belong in a category. If you just do items and you don't sync your category, then the item won't show up because it's it's inside a category. Um, but if you do update all items or update all modifiers and you don't do update all items, then your modifier may not show up because a modifier is in an item, right? So you wouldn't do all of it, just, just to be 100% sure. And then press update order types. This one is optional, this one is optional. Uh, most businesses do not change your tax rates or order types. Very rare they change that. But if you think you change your tax rates, then you can press update taxes. It won't hurt by doing that. And also keep in mind that this is also equally important, especially if you had removed stuff, right? So for example, let's say I go here and I delete, uh, I go like this and I delete a bunch of items, right? I go here and then I, and I do this, right? Delete. Okay, so now those items are gone, but those items may still appear on your website um, because sometimes your Clover may not have an active connection or it may not reach the website. So in those cases, if you deleted those items and you go to your order online page and it's still there, then what you wanna do is you wanna do a clean inventory. So all you do is press clean, this. Remember I delete the items, so I'll go to items and then I press start. Items takes uh, a long time because there's a, it could be a, you could have a lot of items or you may only have 20 items. So if the more items you have, the more longer it'll take. So this can take up to a minute or two minutes, uh, even three minutes to clean it out. So what's gonna do is gonna go through your inventory, your items, find out any duplicate items you may have, and then get rid of those items, okay? That's how you do a clean and sync. So this is optional, but do this if you notice items on your order online page that you no longer have or are selling and this will help you clear it out 
okay so um, again you may have to wait a while and the other time where you want to do a uh, complete cleaning sync is if you uploaded a new inventory right because remember clover allows you to upload excel spreadsheets or or do um, do these things here right right you can add a one by one or you can do x upload excel spreadsheet when you do something like that right here export or import this will require a clean require a inventory sync so while i am um, waiting for this to be done i'm just going to show you around here uh, keep in mind that clover also has modifiers and all these other things as well so right if you change your modifiers you'll also have to do that as well so here's right now it's 20 items checked it's almost finishing uh i have a lot of items so that way it may take longer but i'm gonna speed this up but in your case make sure it says completed before you stop it okay i'm gonna stop it because i want to show you something else um so but in your case make sure it's finished first but let me just show you one other thing see if i do um order types it'll be very quick why because i don't have uh, order types are not that many but items are a lot so this will take a, a much quicker time to uh finish right here especially taxes taxes take the least amount of time taxes could take maybe 20 seconds or so so uh it's checking all the order types and this is clean right when you see the word clean you can go to the next one so taxes will be very quick so your taxes are usually one or two so that one's done modifier groups uh, don't take too long but modifiers will take longer why is that because i have uh, 200 uh, i have 39 modifier groups but then within those modifier groups i have modifiers right and also watch my other videos on how to hide modifiers and modifier groups and all that um, the other thing you can do is if you if you deleted one item instead of doing clean you can just come here and hide that one item right i can go to items uh, and i can just say you know what i don't want to do a clean i just want i don't want to do a clean inventory i just want to hide this item you can just come here and press hide from website this is a fast way to do it if it's just one item but if you have more than one or 10 20 and you want to have it completely gone from the website then you could do a clean and sync all right that's how you do it if you have questions or get stuck um, reach out to us we also have a bunch of other youtube videos here if you go to uh right here if you go to settings here um, clover orders right here and then go to uh, videos you'll see a bunch of nice videos um, that we made to help you learn new features and all that and also keep in mind we do have a branded app too if you want to get a branded app we, we build it for you an iphone android app which will connect and print orders to your clover device is branded to your business it'll have your logo on there it'll be in the apple app store and android if you want to learn more just uh, reach out to us we can explain to you what that is and how that works and also by the way it comes with the loyalty program too all right that's it for this video um, thank you so much subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this have a great day